just got off Twisted Timbers. What'd y'all think? Yes, it was so fun. It was my first RMC ride, and honestly, it was amazing. I loved the first drop where uh, you like twist over and you're upside down, and then you go down. Um, all the airtime hills were great. I was like getting out of my seat, and overall, it was a great ride. I loved it. Me too. <laughs> Just rode the Grizzly, what do you think? It was okay. It was like really shaky and bumpy and it hurts, but it's kind of fun. I I guess I liked it, but not gonna do it again right now. Just rode the classic Rebel Yell, now known as Racer 75. What'd you think? It was awesome. Uh, the first drop, uh, like halfway through it, I put my hands up and I almost did it the whole way except like halfway through it, like I hurt my back. So like if you're like smaller, just like, I don't know, be careful. But it was definitely fun. It wasn't really rough um, and the hills were definitely good. I got some bear and I'm probably gonna do it again. So about to do it again. Time number two. Woo! Yes, in the front row. The girl that married dear old dad She was a fool and the only girl that daddy ever had A good old fashioned girl with heart to What'd you think of the stunt coaster? I actually really liked it. Uh, There's two launches in it. The first one at the beginning and then the second one kind of in the middle. They were both really good. Um, there was like a helix in the beginning and that was really fun. Uh, and I, I did no hands for a lot of the hills. And <laughs> that's one of the best parts. We shoot out of there. And honestly, it was pretty good. It wasn't like rough or anything. So 
anaconda, what'd you think? I didn't like it. It was rough, to say the least. My head was like banging on the restraints and it, I, that did kind of like a part where it was like at the end and you're just like twisting and it feels like you're gonna fall out, but you know, and it's honestly, that part's cool, but the rest is just not for me. I don't like it. Flight of Fear, what'd you think? That was actually really fun. Fun. Um, I didn't know what to expect at first because, you know, it's in the dark and you can't really see anything. Um, and the launch was actually really intense and I liked it a lot. You just go zooming. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's like, I think, four inversions. Um, a lot of times you don't even know like if you're upside down or not. Yeah. But it's, it's really fun and you like are going around the track and I don't know, I really liked it. I like the theme too. Awesome. It was my first bobsled coaster and it was kind of smooth. I mean, it was just a little shaky, but that wasn't really much of a problem. I've ridden more rough rides, but uh, yeah, I liked it. The turns were nice and overall it was a good ride. Yeah. That was awesome, honestly. It was my first B&M floorless. Well, I think first B&M uh, period. And I really liked it. It was really smooth. Even towards the end, it was really smooth. The first drop's amazing. The, the loop is awesome. I love the cobra rolls, all the twists and turns. Honestly, it's great. We're gonna go ride it again in the front row and uh, see what we think in the front.
here at King's Dominion. What did you think? It was awesome. I mean, I did so many rides. Honestly, I think my favorite was probably Dominator and the new Twisted Timbers. Those were the two best for me. And it was overall amazing experience. Yes, so how many coasters did you get to ride today? Most, almost all for the first time, right? Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much all of them. Yeah. Uh, for the first time, I mean. Uh, I think we counted 11. 11? Uh, yeah. And that was just coasters. We rode tons of other rides. It was an awesome day. And we did just, a lot of redos. Yeah, and we did a lot of multiple redos. 